the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the side panel off and then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to take out the optical drive that pull a little tab here <coughs> and slide it out you don't need to unhook it just lay it on the side and then we have the hard disk which has a little lever it's blue if you pull out the power and serial ATA data cables, you'll see that lever, which you can push to one side and lift the drive out. There's two little tabs on the back that you need to try and unhook them from. Okay, and now we have the drive out. <coughs> it uses a quick release plastic caddy and we'll slide that out and now we're ready to install a new drive once you get the hard disk out of the caddy set that aside that's where we'll put the new hard disk and that gives you access to the memory I'm gonna go ahead and take these two sticks out pull the little white tabs back and slide the stick out. <clears throat> I'm going to be adding two new sticks of dual 4 gigabytes at 133 megahertz. Okay, I'm going to take our new memory out of the package and making sure that I match the key in the memory slot to the slot in the memory stick press down nice and hard until they click I'm going to do that with both sticks there we go alright let's take out the new hard disk and we will put it in the plastic tray which is a little fiddly alright now we'll put it in the drive carrier and we'll put it in the reverse way we took it out so hook it on the side watch out for the cables and then slide it back onto its mount move the little lock over reattach your power and data lines And then we will put the optical disc back in place. Just put it in the grooves and slide it in. Make sure everything's tight and we're done. <laughs>